Is it a belief or is it a scientific fact? If this model of the Earth's interior is known as fact, we should be able to confirm the model using a scientific experiment. One way to do this is to observe the interior of the Earth. However, no one has ever drilled into the mantle. No one has ever drilled all the way through the crust. So there are no observations of what is under the Earth's crust. The Earth's interior is not observable. Previous geological models have been found to be false through observations and actual data. During a secret Soviet program called the Kola Ultra Deep, drilling into the Earth's crust began in 1970 at the Kola Peninsula. After years of drilling, by 1983, the Soviets managed to drill 12 kilometers deep. But once they reached the 12 kilometer mark, they got stuck. For the next 10 years, they were able to drill only 0.262 additional kilometers into the Earth's crust. They could not get past the 12 kilometer mark. The drilling program suffered accidents and technical setbacks that prevented them from ever reaching their goal. The Kola Ultra Deep program had originally planned to drill 15 kilometers deep but they quit when they reached 12 kilometers. The drilling program made some scientific discoveries that disproved previous geological models of the Earth's interior. Previously, we were told that the deeper you go into the Earth's crust, the more dense the rock would be and the less porous the rock would be. If the rock is less porous, it means there's less holes in it, less places for water to go. In reality, they found that many kilometers deep, the rocks were cracked and riddled with numerous pores with water solutions moving freely through the rock. At Kola, they found water all the way down to 12 kilometers, which is the deepest they were able to drill. That supports the claim made in the Holy Bible that there was once a great flood with water covering the entire earth. Some of that water receded enough to expose some land, the land that we live on today. Although a majority of the earth is still covered with water today, some of the flood water might now be underground. Kola confirmed they found water deep underground. So maybe that's where some of the flood water went. The rest of the flood water is still on earth, visible in our oceans, seas, rivers, and lakes, and glaciers, and ice, and snow. The Kola borehole is now closed, but they still have an official website. The official website for Kola Ultra Deep today says, in Russian translated to English, we pretty much knew and understood at once how little we still know about the structure of the planet. These people actually drilled the deepest that any one has ever drilled on the planet. They have the observations, the scientific data, to show how the Earth's crust is actually made. And they say that we know little about the structure of the planet. So when you see a diagram like this, ask the question, how do they know that? The Kola borehole remains unsurpassed at 12 kilometers. They had planned on digging to 15 kilometers but they could never get past 12 kilometers, even after years of trying before they gave up. The troposphere is the layer of the Earth's atmosphere where we live. It reaches an average altitude of 12 kilometers high. It's interesting that the deepest hole ever drilled by man is 12 kilometers deep. There's a pattern of 12s and there's many more 12s all around us. Please see the video titled Pattern of 12 for an explanation. Another pattern of 12s observed at the Kola Ultra Deep when they drilled down to 7 kilometers deep. The temperature was measured to be 120 degrees Celsius. 
Seven is a holy number. At the depth of seven kilometers, we have 120 degree temperatures. Is this a coincidence that our planet was designed to match a pattern of 12s? Another unexpected discovery made at Kola Ultra Deep? The Earth is made up of layers. It's not a scrambled up mess underground. There are distinct layers of different kinds of rock. To me, it's clear that this Earth was designed. There is a designer for Earth. In 1984, there was a press conference with geologists. One question raised was, what is the most important thing shown at the Kola borehole? The response, Lord, most importantly, it showed that we do not know anything about the continental crust. So how do we know what is inside the earth? If we don't even know what's in the continental crust, then how can we possibly know what's under the crust? I will remain humble and admit that I don't know what is inside the earth. I will also remain skeptical of any picture showing the interior of the earth all the way down to the core with no scientific evidence to back it up. It's easy to make a picture. It's a lot harder to explain the science. When you see pictures like these, you should ask the question, if you are a true scientist, how do they know that? And why was the Soviet drilling program a secret? The deepest they were able to drill, 12 kilometers. The Kola project reached a depth of 12 kilometers in 1983. Seven years later, they were still stuck at 12 kilometers. It seemed as if the Earth does not want to reveal its secrets. Drilling stopped in 1992. There is a mystery here. Why is man unable to drill deeper than 12 kilometers? If you are a scientist and you're interested in learning the truth, I would like you to question what we have been told. Ask for evidence. When people show you pictures, ask for evidence. Isn't that what a scientist would do? The scientific observations at Kola Ultra Deep support the biblical account of the Great Flood. Genesis 7:11 refers to all the fountains of the Great Deep broken up. The drilling observations found water as far down as they could drill. The earth was designed by God. Science and God go together very nicely. Science does show that the earth appears to be designed. The Holy Bible says that God made the earth. He designed it. Science does not disprove God in any way. What science does is disprove the lies. Science can tear apart incorrect assumptions that people make. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Jesus is alive again today. He is the only begotten Son of God. And He will come back to serve judgment. He will come back with wrath, all-powerful. 
and he will fight against 